it's so easy to just say, I'm going to make videos, but it's really important to know how you're going to be measuring the success of your channel through those videos. And that's where YouTube analytics come in. And today I'm going to show you the top five most important YouTube analytics you should be paying attention to. So are you ready? Hey, go getter. It's Salma Jafri from salmajafri.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. If you love the kind of videos that I create and you want me to create more, then please show me some love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and hitting the bell icon so that you're notified for new videos. Now let's begin. So YouTube analytics have recently undergone a massive change because YouTube has introduced YouTube Studio. So the old one was called Creator Studio and the new one is called YouTube Studio. And pretty much everyone has transitioned to YouTube Studio and they are going to be shifting everyone to YouTube Studio if you're still not using it. So I want to show you some stats that are important to gauge the health of your channel. And we're going to start with the first one, which is real time views. Now, typically I like to do real time views on my phone because it's just so much fun to just click there and just refresh that and see it updating in real time. But that's just me because I'm a stats nerd. Um, so I actually use the uh, YouTube studio, which is the app for YouTube analytics. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'll put in a screenshot here and you can download that from the app store or from the play store. And um, that is the number one analytics. So what does real time views actually tell you? So let me give you an example. So recently my YouTube channel just reached 4,000 views per 48 hours in terms of real time views. And what does that mean? So I can see that my channel is growing uh, and with each successive video that I create, my views are increasing and real time views helps me gauge the immediate effect of a video that I've just created. So I know right then and there, like within that particular day, if that video is going to perform well or not, uh, judging by how well it's performing in the first 24 to 48 hours. So real time is 48 hours and just divide by two for 24 hours, right? And it also shows you the first 60 minutes. So you can take the 60 minute view, but I think the 48 hour view is more accurate in terms of gauging how it's gonna perform. And that'll give you insight as to what time you should be uploading your videos, what topics are resonating with your audience right away. Because the first thing um, that's happening when you create a new video is people who are already subscribed to your channel get notified of that video. So you are able to see whether your existing subscribers are enjoying your content if you're on track with meeting the needs of your existing subscribers. So that's what real time views is. And it's also really fun to see growth. So for example, I just up leveled from I think about two to 3000 views every 48 hours to I just hit 4000 views every 48 hours. So it also keeps me motivated to know that I can create videos that are going to get more and more and more views with each successive video as I get better at understanding my audience, create better videos, increase those views. And so that's how you can use the real time stat. Okay, for the second stat that I have for you, I'm gonna open my laptop and go into YouTube Studio. So the stat that I want you to pay attention to is your audience retention. We're gonna look at it both in a graph form as well as actual numbers. We're gonna look at it in terms of hours and minutes, and we're also gonna look at it in terms of percentage, all of that data. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is go to YouTube Studio, click that. So this is the general dashboard. And now from the left side, we're gonna pick a video whose audience retention we wanna take a look at. So you're gonna click on the videos tab and then let's pick this one. So we're gonna click on analytics here. Okay, so as you can see in the graph, this is the views graph. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see the audience retention graph for this particular video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on see more. All right, let's first look at the actual audience retention. So you can see in the graph that the audience retention is showing a really, really good level uh, rate here, which means that there are not too many drop offs. There are not too many uh, people leaving this video. Um, the average percentage viewed is 47.2%, which is a little bit higher than uh, the normal range on my channel. So what you're looking for in the audience retention graph are any obvious points where your audience leaves your video. In this case, there aren't any. Um, and what you want 
is this slope. So you want to keep it as steady as possible. So the more plateau you have, that's a good sign. That means you're keeping your audience engaged with your content. And the steeper your curve is, or there are uh, valleys that go down and you know your audience retention just drops, then what you can do is you can go here and find out why it's dropped. So you can go to a particular point in your video like for example, there is a bit of a drop here. Do you see this? This is just a slight incline. It goes from about 60% to let's say 54%. So I wanna see what am I saying at that point that's causing some people to drop off. So I'm gonna click here and then I'm gonna play the video from this point onwards related phrases and inside related phrases you're going to see a lot of relevant terms that people are also searching for related to that phrase and if it's something relevant to you you can it's like going down a rabbit hill a rabbit hole i know it's like a deep dive into seeing so people after the example is over they're like oh, okay that was great and then they kind of move on um away or away from this video so that's an indicator but it's not a sharp enough drop to really make a huge difference in my strategy or anything but you want to keep an eye on that you want to keep that graph as level as possible the other thing i'm looking at is that the average view duration for this video is uh three minutes 46 seconds which is about half because the entire duration of this video is seven minutes 58 seconds so i know now judging from this uh looking at this i can see that about 47 percent is the average so if i want to have any important calls to action if i want to make any really really important points like for example subscribe to this video or download this thing and i want to make sure that maximum amount of people see that so i want to put that before the three minute 46 second mark because that is the point which the majority of my content is being viewed up till so that's something you can use and that's how you can use this audience retention graph to really see whether um you know where you should place that important stuff the other thing i want you to take a look at is this space over here which says audience retention type and you're looking at the absolute audience retention, but you can also see the relative audience retention, which will give you a good indicator of where your uh, video stands in comparison to other videos of the same length. So other videos, which are typically about eight minutes in length, are performing worse than mine because mine is above average in up right up until around, say, the six minute fifth. 40 second mark okay so up until then my audience retention is really really good and after that it starts to go a little bit uh, average or even below average so that will give you an idea of how your video is performing in relation to other videos of the same length all right, the next um, important stat that i want you to know in your youtube analytics is your demographic data so we want to go into demographic data for the entire channel by going to analytics from the left tab, which I'm doing right now, and then going into audience from the top bar. And now here I can see that my gender from my demographics is fairly evenly divided. So 59% men and 40% women. This used to be more even. I think it's like tilted slightly towards more men in the recent um, with the recent videos and then again the top countries I can see so if I click see more here I can see the top countries that are viewing my content so it's the U.S. overwhelming majority so that's demographic data that I have and so I know where majority of the views are coming in from and then also the age so it's really important to know what is the age demographic of the people who are watching your videos and for my channel it's typically um, 18 to 44 with the larger demographic being between 25 to 34 years old Old. And so this is going to help me determine, okay, if I can, you know, what kind of language I should be using in my videos and what is the demographic? Uh, will they get my weird jokes? <laughs> so I know I'm not catering to a very young or a very old, but somewhere in the middle demographic. So you want to know all of this information and, um, you know, languages that your audience is speaking. So all of this is in the demographics data. And also take a look at this. This is something that YouTube has recently added the subscriber bell notifications area. So you can see 
uh, how many subscribers have turned on all notifications and how many have turned on all notifications and enabled YouTube notifications. So only about 8,000 of you have. Um, so all the rest of you get going on that subscriber button and that notification, okay? <laughs> and click the bell, okay? So the next stat that I wanna talk about is traffic sources. So where is your traffic coming from? So you wanna, again, stay inside analytics and this time you wanna go into reach, okay? So from the top tab, you wanna click on reach and this is gonna tell you your traffic source type. So for me, I can see that 41% of my traffic comes from search because all of my videos are evergreen, they're highly search engine optimized, and I'm ranking on like the top page of Google, the top page of YouTube for many of the terms that I am wanting to rank for. And so this is a deliberate strategy, it's very intentional, and I have a whole playlist on YouTube SEO where I help you rank your videos on the first page of Google and or YouTube, and you can click that from the info card right over here. So if that's something you wanna do and you wanna get more search engine traffic, which is evergreen and it's constant. The best thing I like about search traffic is that it just keeps coming and it's very predictable traffic. Um, the other traffic that I'm getting is through external. So I do a lot of promotion of my videos. So I have emails going out. I used to have blog posts. I'm gonna start the blog posts again. Um, then there's a lot of promotion happening on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on and so forth. So that's where a lot of this is coming from, but it's also coming from other places where I've guest posted. So for example, the Wave Video blog, and I'm gonna be posting a couple of other guest posts where I'm gonna be linking back to my YouTube channel. So all of that is grouped under external. So if you're doing um, promotion of your videos, you'll be able to see the results of that in external. And then the third one is suggested videos. This is the one which I really need to work on this year and I wanna get this percentage up. So it's 17.1% right now. And then I can also go ahead in this and see what videos are suggesting my content. So I'm gonna click on see more over here and then I can see, uh, I'm gonna click on suggested videos Right, and then here I can see a very, very interesting graph about what videos are being suggested and from where the traffic is coming. So somebody has a video, so this is Jillian Perkins, she has a video on how to start a YouTube channel step-by-step -step for beginners, which has um, got me 22,000 views. So that, so her, so this video of hers is leading people to mine, which means that my videos are being suggested after people watch this video of hers. Second one is how to make videos with your phone. And this one is by Sunny Leonarduzzi and people are coming and watching my channel after this particular video. So you can see that these videos, um, so these are the impressions that my video is getting from them. And then these are the actual views that I'm getting as a result of my video being suggested after these. A Couple of other ones here. Um, um, most profitable YouTube niches, thousands with your Facebook group. So you can see what topics uh, and also what other uh, YouTube channels are recommending my videos. So this is a really good exercise to do to see where your traffic is coming from, what you're already doing really well, what you could optimize further and get more traffic from, and the result of all of your effort, is it really working or not? All right, so the final um, YouTube analytics stat that I wanna talk about is click-through rate, CTR. So YouTube has made this funnel diagram. So if you go back to your main analytics tab here and you look on the right-hand side, you're gonna see this little funnel here which says impressions and how they led to watch time. So CTR is the big metric you wanna be looking at when you see, okay, if somebody saw my title and thumbnail, did they actually click? So CTR tells you the click-through rate. So these many people saw your title and thumbnail, how many people from that or what percentage actually clicked? So as you can see right now, my CTR is 3.9 on average for my entire channel. But CTR is more accurate per video. So you really wanna drill down into each video, which we'll do right now. So I'm gonna go into the videos tab and let's choose a little recent video. Um, Let's do the same one that we did for the other analytic things. So we'll choose the trending topics one and we will go and see what the CTR for this is. So we're going to reach um, from above here and then we can see the CTR for this is 
percent. So in order to increase the CTR, what you'd be looking at is either improving your title or improving your thumbnail. And also keep in mind that the more your your title and thumbnail is shown to a larger audience, the lower your CTR is going to be. So yes, you're in general, you're aiming for a high CTR, but if your video is being shown to a big audience, so the pool of people who are watching your videos is increasing. So the number who are actually clicking on it is might, might decrease, which is fine because that means that YouTube is showing your video to more and more people. So if your CTR is decreasing for that reason, it's totally fine. But in general, you want your CTR to be as high as possible because that means that people are clicking on your um, title and on your thumbnail. And they're clicking on your video based on these two factors. And also you want to make sure that your CTR is high in the first 48 hours of publishing because that's when your subscribers are actually watching your content. So in order to see if your title and thumbnail are resonating with your existing audience or not, because here's how YouTube works. It first sees, it shows your video, let's say you publish a video and it first shows your video to your existing subscribers. If your existing subscribers watch that video, click on it, like it, share it, comment, on it, then YouTube shows it to another subset of its own demographic and it says, oh, okay, people like this video, so we're going to show it to more people. If your own subscribers don't click on your video, it's not going to want to promote your video to non-subscribers, right? So you first want to make sure that your CTR is high in the first 48 hours, which will indicate to you that people who have already subscribed to you are liking your content and then YouTube will push it out even more. So my question for you today is how often do you look at your analytics? Is it once a day, once a week, once a month or never? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below and if you want to watch my YouTube masterclass on how to get started with your YouTube channel so that you grow the right way, then click the link in the description. It's salvajafri.com forward slash subscribe or get grab it from the end card. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.